68. I just need your okay right here so I can get your new truck ready for delivery. Okay, that's great, but I still want more for my trade. Okay, I understand. Um, I'd like to say we don't hear that very often, but that wouldn't be true. Jeff, as a matter of fact, we hear it from virtually everybody that buys a car from us. So we understand it's not a problem, and I quite frankly have never left a dealership after having done business with them and felt like they gave me too much for the trade. Um, so we can solve the trade problem. Everything else is cool. Nothing else will stop you from taking the new Tundra home, correct? No, nothing else. Okay, good. Uh, Jeff? This isn't your first rodeo. You've traded cars into automobile dealers before, right? Yes. Okay. Have any of them ever taken the time to share with you the formula that every new car franchise, not just in Atlanta, but every new car franchise in the United States uses to generate a value for a pre-owned vehicle? No. Okay. Well, shame on them. We do it for everybody that asks, and basically everybody asks. And I think you'll like, like this formula because it's got nothing to do with any of us here at World Toyota. In fact, it's got nothing to do with any of us in the retail car business. We have to live by the rules that are set for us by two groups. Number one, consumers, just like you. Number two, primary lenders. That would be the Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Toyota Motor Credit. And this is how it works. It's called retail life. And that's not to be confused with operational life. All right, the operational life of your Corolla is undetermined. It's sort of like the human lifespan. All right, if the next customer takes as good a care of it as you have, it could go on for years and years and years. On the other hand, it could get hit by a tractor trailer truck in two weeks and be completely gone. All right, it's undefined. But what is defined is retail life because it's defined by consumers and primary lenders. When you drove that Corolla off the lot five years ago, the retail life clock started. It ends seven years after the car was born when you took delivery of it. And here's why. When a consumer goes out to buy a pre-owned car, they've got three choices. They can go to the internet, punch in Corolla, and look at all the private sales that are going on. Okay, That's a very dangerous transaction for the consumer. Um, private sale. They don't have to disclose anything about the car. There is no legal recourse if they lie to you. They could go to an independent used car lot, a place that looks like it used to be a service station surrounded by older units, buy here, pay here in 11 different languages with a big blow-up gorilla on top. Mm -hmm. You've seen them. Yeah. Or they could go to a new car franchise and check out their pre-owned lot. Now, Jeff, if somebody goes to a new car franchise, do you think they might be looking for a later model vehicle these days, maybe even factory certified, certainly eligible for a service contract and financeable? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're, if they're looking for a 12-year-old car to give to uh, a young kid or to park at the airport for weeks at a time, they don't come to a new car franchise. So consumers tell us that the vehicles that we stock had better be seven years old or less. The primary lenders they're right behind him saying, we second that motion because, for the most part, a lender will not finance a car that's older than seven years old. Now, the vehicle does not lose all of its value once it turns seven years and one day old. There's something called after retail life. But why don't we do this? Why don't we apply this formula to your vehicle make sure we didn't make a mistake? Fair enough? Fair. OK. Um, Your car's an 08, so it's an 8, 9, 10, 11, to 5-year-old car. So it's right about here on the scale. Divide 5 by 7 for me, please. Yeah. 71%. All right, 71% of the retail life in your vehicle is gone, okay? Good news is 29% is there. I'm going to guess that was about a $19,000 vehicle when you bought it? Yeah. Okay, take 19000 and multiply it by 29%. Uh, 29, I'm sorry. 19,000 times 29 percent. 55. All right, the retail life left in your vehicle is $5,510. That's not what your car is worth because there is value after it turns seven years old, plus it's a Toyota, which holds its value better than most. That's why today we'll buy your car for $8,500. I just need to know that this is exactly the way you want the vehicle titled. 